אוקיי, סבבה. וגם קצת טוב about the new era of scum, master, let's see, what is it? So uh, the new era of Scrum Master, first of all, is a dojo model. We are, we, it's a model developed in Ajime by uh, trained uh, agile coaches from uh, industry field and experience. And let's jump right in. Okay. So this is us. If anyone wants to um, address us later on, uh, these are our emails. And in the discuss, uh, 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 discussion, we can share also our phones. And without further ado, let's jump, right in. Let's jump in. So uh, let's just begin with an in mind, as we always do in Agile. Let's see what we're going to uh, go through. Uh, we want to go Scrum Master Row. This is an advanced conference, and uh, we assume that everyone knows what we're talking about. But we want to adjust the scrum master role as we see it according to the methodology, uh, the gaps between the theory and the practical world. There is uh, uh, the scrum guide it is nice and it's very uh, uh, teaching, but there is always you can see some kind of glitch, some kind of gap between the theory and the practical world. Then we will go uh, and uh, get us familiarized with the five levels of a scrum master and More important, more important, get self-awareness, which level we are, which is basically something that we are trying to do in every stage, every place in Agile, every uh, uh, um, way that we go. We try to raise to ourselves, to the PO, to the team, the awareness and how to move and assess from one level to a higher level. Very important to understand not only where are you, but also how to move from level to world. Mm-hmm. So basically, we start with awareness, and after the awareness of what is the current level, we need to understand how to move from one level to another. So, this is Scrum. Any questions? Start with Yeah, come so, on. So, Boaz, so simple. can you guide us and give us a little brief of What is a scrum? Okay, so th- by the way, do they see our mouse? Uh, maybe. Uh, perhaps, maybe. So when we're talking about uh, uh, scrum, we're talking about this whole mess of things that we are trying to make an order in, uh, which basically the scrum master would be the guy who uh, conducts everything, who keeps all this mess of, All the POs throwing things from one place to another, all the team members trying to mm-hmm. take from the sprint backlog to the product backlog and vice versa. He's the guy who's keeping things intact. Is the, by the way, the, I'm pointing as if you see where I'm pointing, <laughs> which is a nice. Uh, he's the guy in the yellow, uh, <laughs> yellow shirt and pants on the yeah. left. But basically speaking, mm-hmm. in Scrum, we having... The sprint, okay, which is the heartbeat. We have a, a daily meeting each and every day. We're having a daily meeting in order to synchronize things. At the end of the sprint, we are having a review meeting, right? In order uh, for the PO to either approve or reject. If it being approved, it goes to the increment basket. If it's not, it goes back to the product backlog. And why product backlog? Because we have no idea whether it will be relevant in the next sprint. This is the reason why we hand it to the product backlog. Excellent. After the review, we do a retrospective that its main purpose is to improve. To improve. We want to improve, and the action items goes into the team backlog. Not all of the people are aware of it, okay, but it is not part of the theory. It's the practical approach. The team backlog contains all kinds of things. Uh, for example, refactoring <clears throat> or upgrade the version or anything that usually the PO is not aware or is not concerned about them. And then we have the planning in which... 
which we planned, the following sprint. And as you see, the guys, the small guys from the team uh, take from the team backlog, from the, from the uh, release backlog, from the back backlog, bug backlog, everything is <laughs> negotiable to put into the small basket of the sprint backlog. In other words, during the planning, we take from all different types of user story. It is called class of service in which we produce the sprint backlog. Okay, the sprint backlog is basically the commitment for the incoming sprint. And yes, we plan, we do the planning meeting of sprint number 42, for example, okay, uh, in uh, or at the end of sprint number 41. Why is that? Because we found out that people are much more efficient when arriving Monday morning already know what to do in the sprint rather than to arriving Monday morning and start to plan what they are doing in the sprint. Uh, apologies for interruption. Uh, Danko Boas, it would be great if you can just turn on your video so that people can also uh, see you uh, while you're presenting. Uh, now you see it? Now you see us? Ah, excellent. Yes, thank, thank you, boys. Thank you. We, we are all the time trying to be in the center of the camera. And yeah. now you are excellent. revealing the truth. Good. If there are any discussions, uh, let us know because we are uh, presenting and we are trying to pay attention for the discussion. Okay, good. So we continue in our mission. Okay, good. Here are several things that you need to be aware as an advanced Scrum Master. And uh, we are not even talking about which level yet. One of them, the DOD, okay, in order to not fall into Parkinson law, not fall into going and not uh, making the mission, the task, the user story much longer and with a lot of waste. <laughs> we want to have a clear DOD. DOD. Uh, <clears throat> to know what we are working on, to know what is the uh, what are the points that will call the user story done. Second thing would be another thing is a common mistake is to that the Scrum Master is a, a, a needs to verify that all of the user stories are prioritized, which is not true. Okay, what we do. We focus only on the high. As you may know, focus is one of the Scrum values. So in other words, we take the list of user stories, product backlog, we slice it into high, medium, and low, and then we focus only on the high. And why we do it? Because reality will change. And there is no meaning of investing a lot of time in things that will be changed. And this is why when you go into someone's house, let's say Danko's house. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. And we say, Danko, I have a big list. The first thing that he would tell me is, what are you doing <laughs> in my house? In the middle of the night. And the second one is to prioritize. There is another one that what do we do in, in case that we finish before time? You have two options, increase quality by implementing Parkinson law, increase happiness, which means taking a rest, or increase content. Same thing, Parkinson law, okay? Or taking more from the backlogs. More things, this is Parkinson law. Remember the phrase, ship happens. If you are frustrated that you don't ship in each and every sprint. And here are the pillars and the <clears throat> values of Scrum. Pillars are focus. No, no, pillars, pillars. Pillars are transparency, inspect and adapt. Excellent. Everything we do in Scrum, everything, every meeting and everything <laughs> that we do is an opportunity to inspect, to see what to see. What we are, uh, what we have currently now, whether it is product, where it, whether it is how we work, where whether it is 
how we communicate, cooperate, or uh, uh, take uh, uh, things from the release backlog. And then we adapt, okay, we check with the transparency that we hold and adapt to the changing reality. <laughs> And we also have a hidden assumption, team signature, and all sorts of things that I, we urge you to be aware of. Now, what does it mean to be a Scrum master? If you, yeah, if you have any idea, put it in the discussion, like a short, short definition for a Scrum master. And in the meantime, we will continue. So this is what is online. Okay, there is a lot of things. You go and type Scrum Master, and you see many, many things. You see the gardener who grows people, and you see the football coach and the mechanic and the guy who encourages the team. And there is a lot, a lot of things and a lot of uh, uh, different opinions. And let's see, and each opinion goes with, uh, with something that we urge you to be aware of, which <laughs> is the Scrum Levels. Okay, Scrum levels, uh, let's start with level zero, which is a big, big sprint of, let's say, requirements, and then a big, big sprint of design, and then code, and then testing, and then the project dies, which is basically waterfall. Scrum level two, let's jump to it, is or, or some, the next level, which is Scrum level one, which is Scrum for not waterfall anymore, but not scum yet. Basically, we are doing sprints. At the end of the sprint, we're producing something that looks like a PSP, potentially shippable product, but you can ship it, okay? And because you create a lot of technical debt, you have to stop uh, the after couple of sprints and focus on hardening, okay? In the real world, focusing on bug hunt or stabilization, or regression, or progression, these kind of things. Sometimes you call it, sometimes you call it Scrum, but you're doing Scrum, but you don't ship it. You don't ship anything. Doing Scrum, but no Scrum masters involved. Doing Scrum, but no retrospective, and so on. This is the next level Okay, <laughs> next level of Scrum level two is basically what we call Scrum. Okay, we, we make a sprint. Inside the sprint, we work on the project in a uh, cross-functional way. The whole team is involved. We synchronize during the sprint. And in the end of the sprint, we produce a, we produce a PSP. And each recurring sprint, we produce a bigger and bigger or a more complete increment or PSP until we are ready to, uh, until the MVP is ready to ship out to a client to use. And then we continue to work as long as the project or as long as it's, <laughs> it's still alive and uh, running. Good. And the highest uh, level, which is very confusing, uh, it is an advanced level or advanced scrum or hyper scrum that we're not going to cover in this workshop, in this, workshop, in this uh, uh, um, lecture. However, uh, we highly advise you, urge you to do it. And now, without further ado, let's go into the dojo model, going from the baby Yoda to the real Yoda. And we use a belt in order to reflect the levels of Scrum in the sex of simplicity. So we start with the white belt. White belt? Yeah. What do you mean white belt? So, what is the character characteristic of a Scrum Master having a white belt? So even think just 10 seconds before we talk about white belt. Just think what, what would, would be the beginning level. Okay, when we are just starting, imagine you're entering a whole new world. When you're just starting, uh, perhaps you are very stressed. You are doing all the right things or aiming to do all the right things, but your focus, think on what you are focused on, you are focused on what you are doing. Okay, it's like learning to give a punch, 
Okay, when I'm learning to give a punch and I'm in beginner level, it's not, I'm not just giving it away or I'm not very aware of uh, uh, my whole body, but I'm very focused on my hand going out and the whole body is not adjusted to what I'm doing. So everything in beginner level in a white belt scrum master, uh, running the sprint, running the planning for the sprint is very technical following the advisors and the things that we see online and we are taught. When we are in the retrospective, we follow strictly the rules. Basically speaking, we are very focused on ourselves, very focused on technical scrum and how to, uh, how to implement it. Okay, we don't yet understand the role. We don't yet uh, understand how to move from things to things. Basically speaking, this scrum master is a rookie scrum master. He's very nervous. He scheduled meeting. He sent summaries. He's very, very stressed. And practically, he thinks that he will not be able to cope it. Okay? This is the beginning. Okay? Later on, we're having more and more, more and more experience. Don't you worry. We're moving to the orange belt. Okay? The orange belt is the next belt, okay? Which means that, I think again, when we are after we, we're not no longer rookie, but we're more swimming things, we know how to do, we read online, we are in forums, we're in a, a Scrum Master meeting, we understand a lot of things. We have all these technical uh, cool stuff about uh, how to do a retrospective, and how to do a cool planning, and we're familiar with planning poker, we have the technical stuff. It's all covered. So basically speaking, is the ultimate worker. The orange belt scrum master can cope with all of the tasks that needs as a scrum master. However, the team is not involved. Mm -hmm. The team is not becoming self-managed. The scrum master itself is more relaxed However, okay, he is doing, he or she is doing all of the work, okay? Think of how a team with such a scrum master, which usually people tend to stay, sometimes some people, some scrum masters tend to stay there. They mm -hmm. feel very relaxed. They feel very good. The organization feels that they're doing a good job. Think of a, such a scrum master in terms of the team. Is mm -hmm. the team developing? Is the team advancing? as it can. The next level is the blue belt. The blue belt is something else. Okay? This is the blue belt. Okay? The blue belt scrum master starting to be a coach. In other words, he's starting to talk about, uh, to think about the team. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, he's, uh, he has all the technical stuff intact. He has his... Uh, uh, he's relaxed, and then he starts to think, okay, how can I make the team grow? How can I move back a little bit and let the team fill the space that, uh, that I'm leaving out? He still guards the team, as you can see in the drawing. When something falls, he catches it. He lets the team decide, but helps them decide uh, uh, later on. He gives them all the tools, but he lets them go in them and make a lot of decisions. So, Basically, he's starting to be aware of his role, not as a scrum worker, but as a team coach. So he starts focusing on the team, starts challenging them with finding the solutions. But usually you can find a scrum master at this level that he executes the solution by himself. Meaning either there is still lack of trust or the team is not ready, or he still feels that if he will go out, things will fall apart, sometimes he's correct. If he, if he will go out, things will fall apart. Now think, just before we go to the next level, what would be uh, the next level of a Scrum Master? How would he advance from this level of starting to be a coach, starting to focus on the team? How would he be, uh, what is the next level of him? Good, okay. Let's go. Excellent. Excellent. And the next one 
is <laughs> ninja. <laughs> ninja. The next okay. one is the black. Okay. Okay. And don't be confused with this color because in a minute we're going to explain to you. Okay. So, what is the black belt? What? <laughs> so the black belt, when you think about him, uh, even the common, the urban legend of the black belt is the ultimate team coach. Okay, he knows how to coach. He knows his way. He's, he's done the, the, all the technical starts. He knows how to coach. He's encouraging to, the team to think of the solution and executes, ex- execute it. And he's guarding them from afar, meaning that his presence alone, not alone, but his presence mainly gives the team uh, the intent, the example, a soft presence. Okay, he's not pushing. What is your opinion? What is your opinion? But by the way that he acts, okay, what do you think? Uh, how should we approach it? Let's think of another solution. He's constantly challenging the team. He's constantly creating a safe zone within the boundaries around him without effort. Think of such a scrum master, how uh, potent and how confident does he need to be inside an organization. Okay, it's not only a matter of decision, but in order to uh, create the safe zone around me, I have to be very, very secure uh, around managers and around other roles in the company. Uh, So basically, one of the main things he does is leads psychological safety. And let's recap. The white belt can cope with all of the tasks, focusing on itself. The orange, managing to cope with all of the tasks, still by itself. Blue, starting to ask the team to to deal with the task and guard them. As an AQC, if some, some task is falling, he or she is the one to help them. Okay? The black belt is, as Boaz says, doesn't really need to do anything technically only mentally okay because if somebody something is falling the team knows by that how to catch those things and he or she is focusing on being a coach he is a black belt now anyone knows what is a, how to pronounce or what is the name of black belt in japanese Write it down in the discussion. We'll give you 10 seconds. What is the name of Black Belt? <clears throat> okay. So the name, Sensei. Sensei is a teacher. You're almost correct. <laughs> Ninja, it's away. Ah, uh, now you are getting it. Okay. But we want to... Look at it from a different angle. So, a, a black belt is a shodan. Shodan is combined from two words, beginning and way. Okay? Way is done and show is the beginning. So, practically speaking, <clears throat> when having a, a, a black belt, you are at your early stages in understanding how to fight or how to walk, okay? Mm -hmm. While having all the tools. Dan is a rank, I guess, correct. We have the first Dan, show Dan, and then need Dan, and go Dan, and so on. But we want you to focus on the fact that the black belt is not the end of it. It's the beginning of being a powerful scrum master. And this is the reason why we have the the red belt. And as anyone who ever ever done awareness work with himself, he knows that when he start, when he's enlightened, or when he feels that he has the grasp on everything, he says, Okay, I'm in the, I'm in the beginning. Now let's start. Then he has the tools. Okay, when you're in this beginning level, 
then you have to, the tools to learn by yourself. You have to, the tools to challenge yourself. So when we are going red, okay, uh, with the ultimate teacher, then we have become, we have advanced to mentor level. Okay, not only mentor of our team, not only coach of our team, but everything around this Scrum Master, a Scrum Master that is confident, a Scrum Master that, is, uh, <laughs> that does not work from ego. Okay, think about working from <laughs> ego and at any part of the, of the way. Okay, he's not focused on himself, but he's leading. Okay, we led by example, we led by intent, and now he's leading by some kind of high presence. Okay, by the way that he's uh, uh, acting, the way that he's teaching, he's influencing around him uh, this uh, the, the the will and the passion to improve. So he creates bonds and ties between group and, groups and teams. He mentors people as as he goes. As he goes, I, perhaps you have met uh, the person, the manager or the scrum master, who goes and everything around him. Every time he asks, "How do you feel? How can I help you?" He's all the time working, not without effort, to solve and to teach. And he leads, of course, a sense mm -hmm. of safety and well-being. Obviously, is effortless, creating an easy atmosphere. Yeah. So the focus, like your day itself. Like itself. So the focus would be not only on who I am in Scrum, not only on uh, how will I improve the team, not only on how the team will improve, but the organizational DNA, the growth of others. And what do you think you need to do in order to move from one level to another? Take a guess. Take any, <clears throat> any level, because in a couple of seconds, we're going to reveal it. I know, complicated <clears throat> slides, but let us focus on the belts, on the practice, excellent, on the belts, and let's see. If we are in a white belt, first you need to be aware of it. How do I know if I'm in a white belt? I'm near this, I'm stressed, okay? In order to let go of it, I need time and experience. Okay, first of all, as Feedback as, is where yeah, correct. As you wrote here, practice, feedback. Okay, I need someone to help me. And as you see, this is a very important lesson for us. Even if I am in orange level, I can mentor and coach someone who is in white level. I can help him. And th for this, I need to know, to examine which level is he and what help does he need from me. Perhaps he needs just a little more technical stuff. Perhaps he needs to, ah, we have a selfie. Come on. Okay, done that. Okay. <laughs> Self-reflection. <laughs> Perhaps he needs the, the, um, this mirror to help him improve. All the time I'm trying to see who is against me, not against in terms of that he's against, but who is facing me and how can I help him. And sometimes when we are two Scrum Master, white Scrum Masters in a team, of course, we can, in, in an organization, of course, we can help each other. And by knowing that we are white, it, it gives a lot of sense of uh, relaxation and uh, the ability to, to move. So in order to move from the white belt to the orange, all you need to do is to gain more experience. To move from orange to blue, we need to expand the knowledge. Expand the knowledge, okay? Mm -hmm. Not to have only experience, but to seek, to be proactively seeking for knowledge. And this will give us the ability to be in the, uh, the blue belt. And what do we need to do in order to go to the black belt? In order to go to the black belt, we need to portray the trust to the team. Mm. This is very important. important. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important to be able to simply trust and say, I know that they will do it. Give them the tool, give them the mentorship and trust them. And of course, 
I have to receive mentoring. As you said, practice and feedback is very, very important. So expand knowledge, perhaps I can go, I can go to a Scrum Master course, CSM, PSM. In order to further advance, I have to have the coaching as we teach the team unit, the coaching, also I will need. Mm-hmm. And to advance higher, what I need to do. From black to red one, the only thing that you need to do is to relax. Very odd. However, the, from, from relaxing yourself, you'll be able to absorb things in a more effective way and to become better. And who knows what is the shuhari? In other words, in Japanese, shuhari. Three, wor- three words in Japanese. Shu means, look it up in the Wikipedia. Shu means stages for learning the mastery. You are mm. correct. Shu means learning the technique as it was mentioned. Ha mean shaking the technique, shaking the technique, and ri means develop your own technique. In other words, then bend break. Ah, excellent, okay, excellent. So in other words, you are on fire. In other words, although when you, if you are in the red belt, there is always something to learn, even, even, from the white belt. And we uh, encourage you to look at this model because this model helps throughout those past years. A lot of companies understand first, what is a Scrum Master? Which level is the Scrum Master, each and every one, and help them to guide the Scrum Master going from one level to Another, okay? So, uh, when we do this, obviously we will not go into all these details, but think <laughs> it's just a matter of thought. When I am such a Scrum Master, in which level I am, how do I affect my team? Okay, mm-hmm. how do I affect the organization? And what does it tell about the team? If I am such a Scrum Master, what does it tell about my team? And what do they need from me? Which level are you as a Scrum Master? This is the main question that we urge you to think after our lecture and after that to decide whether it suits you or not. Okay? We want to thank you all and we have a little... uh, amount of time in which if you want to ask a question, just place it in our uh, discussion uh, uh, place here. Uh, These are the details of us uh, and you may use them and connect with us and ask us any question that you like regarding it. We are in Ajime using it for years. And as Gaucho Marx says, Those are our principles. And if you don't like them, well, we have others. Okay, so now we open it to any question. The dojo model, especially, yes. All these slides available somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to upload them. And I think Agile India is also going to upload them um, as well. Belt can be earned only by practice. Thank you. Yeah, you are correct. Practice is the prerequisite Mm -hmm. for everything. So without practice, there's no success. Okay? It's it's practice, and then there are levels of practice. Practice can be how experience, Mm -hmm. the mentoring I get, the decisions Mm -hmm. I take. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you very much. Remember, and remember, (laughs) who can I coach? Even if I'm white level, you saw in the model, even if I'm white level, I can go and teach th- something the red level because the level will ask for my help. Even if I'm orange, I can coach something to my fellow orange. Okay? Excellent. Good. Any questions? If you have, this is the time. 
We do experience, is there any failure point for moving from one level to another, anything that uh, uh, defocus us? Of course, stress is the first thing, okay? Focus only on the next level will prevent you from going to this level, yeah. okay? In uh, martial arts, we say, and both of us are doing martial arts, and as you understand, this is why we developed this model, uh, in martial arts, we say, if you will focusing only on the next belt, you will not gain it. You'll gain the belt only when you let go of focusing on the belt and focus on the knowledge that the belt is only symbolize it. Or okay? to portray in another way, when I'm giving the punch to something, let's say to a wall, to anything, to a face or a kick, I'm not trying to hit the specific point but I'm trying to pass it, okay? If I'm trying to hit the thing itself, then all my energy will bounce back to my hand, hands. But if I'm going past it, okay, through it, and I'm trying to reach uh, a way beyond from it, it, beyond it, then I will be able to pass, okay? And as for the question as a Scrum Master, how to contribute and maximize the productivity in the development team? Excellent question. Excellent one. Um, and the answer starts with awareness. Mm -hmm. Okay. In order to be better, you need to understand what is your current situation. Okay. So current situation, okay, it starts with your velo velocity. Okay. Once you understand your velocity, whether it's 12 or 15 or 5, it doesn't matter. Okay, then we can continue and start to be better. Okay, do we need an agile coach if we follow this model? At the beginning, not so much from white to orange, not so much, but from orange to blue, some of you will have it, and from blue, definitely mm -hmm. similar to martial arts. From in order to have a knowledge from white belt to own, but you can see YouTube and all kind of karate uh, movies maybe. But if you want to get serious, you need some agile coaching. Mm -hmm. By the way, it, of course you don't need, but it will, uh, it will make it a lot faster and a lot better mm -hmm. if you do it with, uh, with, with someone who knows, because always it's better to learn from experience. Correct. And not invent everything yourself. How many sprints required to find the base velocity for a scrum team? Well, it depends. Uh, a lot of, uh, there are a lot of variables involved, but usually around four or five sprints, empirically speaking, you'll get to have the team signature. Okay? Team signature. Team signature is how the team reacts. And one of them is the velocity. Okay? There are many, many attributes for a team signature. For example, whether the team is early bird or angry birds. Okay? Whether they like to work uh, in parallel uh, or one, one after another. A lot of things. One of them is the velocity. Last question, because we are just out of time. Any question? Is there a magic formula to make people who push back Scrum to <laughs> welcome Scrum? We have. Yes, we have. We have pills. We, have pills. Yeah. we, we pills. sell pills on our site. We have pills. We have, we have pills. <laughs> and <Don't> you take. <laughs> you take, and magically everything is going, uh, going on. No, there's no magic power, powder and no pills. Only hard work. And empiricism. Okay, when you understand the goals, and you try little by little to get them, okay, starting with quick wins, then those who uh, oppose Scrum or push, back, push it back might accept it. Okay, never assume that I'm selling Agile with Agile. Yeah, take Agile, everything will be good. No, we start with something, <laughs> perhaps you don't want Agile, but do you want to synchronize maybe uh, every, uh, uh, every now and then, perhaps to know what we're doing together? You don't want Agile, but perhaps... Let's just make a quick planning for the next two weeks so we can know what we are doing. There is no reason for me, even if I'm pushing back Scrum as, as, a, as a name, to oppose this. 
usually you will find people who uh, who had bad experience, something one who, who taught them hard scrum or very uh, harsh rules about we have to stand in the daily. So we are sending our phones as well. We are sending our phones as well. Uh, feel free to use them and ask any uh, questions in respect to uh, those. And we're wishing you all the best. And we hope mm -hmm. to see you more in more Agile events.